Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Lissandra, the Ice Witch. Fueled by corrupted magic, Lissandra is the Ice Witch of the Freljord and plots to unleash a new Ice Age upon the world. She is a nimble, high-utility mage with an array of crowd control abilities, crushing and impaling her foes in any solo lane. With spells of Black Ice, Lissandra is a strong contributor to any teamfight and can always keep her enemies at a distance. Iceborne is Lissandra's passive, giving her an occasional free spell cast. Each time one of her abilities hinders an enemy's movement, Iceborne's cooldown is reduced by one second for each enemy affected. Ice Shard sends out a spear of ice that damages enemies in its path and slows the first unit hit. If Ice Shard hits an enemy, the projectile shatters and travels farther than it would otherwise. Players looking for consistent damage output should always max this ability first. Ring of Frost damages and freezes enemies in place around Lissandra. Since the ability has no cast time, she won't stop to cast Ring of Frost while moving. However, enemies frozen in place are still able to attack or cast abilities. Glacial Path sends an Ice Claw flying in target direction, dealing magic damage to enemies in a line. By reactivating the ability, Lissandra can teleport to the Claw's location at any point along the path. While the Claw is in motion, she can attack and cast spells freely. Lissandra's ultimate, Frozen Tomb, can be cast on either enemy champions or herself. When cast on an enemy, the champion is stunned and the ground beneath them freezes and expands outward, damaging and slowing enemies in the area. When cast on herself, Lissandra becomes invulnerable and untargetable for the duration, while the ice stems from her position. Ice Shard is an essential tool for establishing early dominance with Lissandra. She can aim it through minions to pressure her opponent from a safe distance. Especially when facing melee champions, Ring of Frost can lock opponents in place for an easy hit with Ice Shard when they get too close. Glacial Path is extremely valuable for following up with ganks. By using Ice Shard to slow Zed just as Vi comes into view, Glacial Path allows Lissandra to keep up even after he flashes away, and she lands a second Ice Shard for the kill with Ignite. Although Glacial Path is key for escaping, it's important to note that if Lissandra is disabled, she won't be able to teleport. This is where Ring of Frost comes in handy, as it's great for creating distance from pursuers. When being chased, Lissandra can use Glacial Path to easily misdirect enemies. Throwing it over the wall here, she misdirects Shaco into following in the direction of the Claw. Even if he followed her, she still could have chosen to teleport away. Lissandra is an excellent initiator for ganks and can almost guarantee a kill with her full combo. When roaming to the bottom lane, she closes the gap quickly with Glacial Path, then singles out Nami with Frozen Tomb and Ring of Frost for an easy kill, as Caitlyn escapes with a well-timed cleanse. Lissandra can change the flow of a fight almost instantly. As Sheku approaches, she uses all of her abilities in quick succession to burst and lock him in place, then finishes by reactivating Glacial Path early to hop a short distance and get away cleanly. With Ice Shard's low cooldown, Lissandra is exceptional at kiting enemies over long distances. Lissandra first disengages with Ring of Frost and Glacial Path. As Jax pursues her from the Dragon Pit to the second turret, she lands Frozen Tomb amidst four consecutive casts of Ice Shard along the way. Jax makes the mistake of continuing the chase despite being whittled down repeatedly by Lissandra. Finally, he dives her underneath the turret and falls to Ring of Frost plus Ice Shard. With Glacial Path, Lissandra can often set up kills from plain sight. Using Glacial Path into Ring of Frost, she freezes Karthus in place for a follow-up stun from Frozen Tomb. Karthus is locked up long enough for Riven to catch up and get the kill. Although Frozen Tomb is a very destructive spell, it sometimes needs to be used defensively to save Lissandra from heavy amounts of damage. She engages a fight with Glacial Path into Ring of Frost, but takes a lot of counterattack damage. Self-casting Frozen Tomb, she blocks two turret shots and damage from Karthus, while still slowing Graves, giving Misfortune a kill. Lissandra complements area of effect team compositions extremely well. As Amumu engages, she hops over the wall with Glacial Path into Ring of Frost and Frozen Tomb, which absolutely eviscerates the enemy team, giving Lissandra a quadra kill. Is it cold in here? Or is it just me? When building Lissandra, focus on a mix of magic damage and durability to support her close-range playstyle. For runes, try magic penetration marks, scaling health seals, magic resist glyphs, and ability power quintessences. Try 2109 masteries, taking magic penetration and ability power in offense, with mana regeneration and increased neutral buff duration and utility. 
Flash and Ignite are great choices for Lissandra, allowing her to secure kills and quickly reposition in teamfights. 